president's first visit to Canada as U.S. President. President Obama left the White House uh, about uh, almost an hour ago for the helicopter ride over to Andrews Air Force Base in Washington. And this was his arrival at Andrews Air Force Base and the short walk from helicopter, which is kind of like the shuttle from the White House to Andrews, uh, over towards Air Force One. And as you can see, the weather is a failure. Yeah. They're both working And uh, then, and I, I think it's very important, very yeah. important, and I think... Uh, what we expect be might be the motorcade route just across the street from Carleton University, and there's a lot of excitement Uplands this Air Force morning. Base, where you see the, the, the control tower, uh, snow coming down, and awaiting the president's arrival. Uh, within the and next you know, hour. Just Your arriving watches. at uh, at the airport a few moments ago, now. Mikhail Jean will be uh, at like the airport that we arrive at. It's not the uh, Ottawa well, airport. Not which just off there the, the fact that we work together across the 49th parallel. Ambassador, thanks very much. We're just uh, witnessing now uh, Air Force One just touching down at uh, the Ottawa to Air Force. President Obama the other day in the White House. Uh, he takes these things seriously Anger. before he came into the room. Uh, right on the dot of 10.30, as uh, it suggested in the Hands agenda book. Prepared, state dinners, the whole bit. Uh, and everything was uh, thrown out causes. The Governor General, Mikhail Jean, and her husband heading towards the uh, foot of the stairs where President uh, Obama uh, will come down and uh, she will greet him, head of state Some to head of state. Here he is, President Barack Obama. Slipped into an overcoat, a little uh, cooler than it was in Washington when he left, when he was, uh, I think, just in a suit. Being introduced now to the Governor General, Mikhail Jean. The opportunity to uh, uh, witness it as the, uh, as we all know, the country's first African American president. Meeting with the uh, Haitian the way this continent uh, maneuvers on the international stage. Peter. All right, Susan, thanks very much. Well, they're giving us a change of their mind at the last minute. Let cameras in. Uh, Mikhail Jean, moment. let's listen in, see if we can hear. Heather Hiscox, who has Talk about why you're here with the children. So introduce yourself and your and your son. I'm Angela, I, and this is my son Aaron. He's two and a half. Two and, and a half. Why are you here, Angela? I just wanted to be able to tell him in years to come that he was here and he saw him, if he sees him or not. If he sees him, that's true. I better let you get closer to the, to the entrance if you have any hope at all. And you tell, introduce yourself and, and your girls. And for sure, this is Hagen and Shakalia. And we're here simply because Hagen thought that we couldn't miss it. So they that's the your idea, Hagen? It was your idea to come here? Now, did that have anything to do with you might have had a day out of school? Um, <laughs> no. No, but it, you did take her out. You did take them she out of school. She enjoyed it. The kids followed the election throughout, and uh, she, she loved it. So, so as a matter of fact, uh, this was something that I thought in the end, eventually I decided, well, maybe it was something to do. She says, I, I said, you might not see him. She says, at least I can tell my grandkids I was here. <laughs> How old is Hagen? She's eight. And you're already thinking about being able to tell your grandkids that. Tell me, what makes Barack Obama special? Well, I think Barack Obama is special because he's the first um, black president in the United States. And he has gave everybody courage to believe in yourself. And what, the, what does that make you think that you can do because he was able to be the first black president of the United States? Anything I can. Anything I can. Yes, we can. Anything you can. That's wonderful. And is it something you talk about as a family a lot? We talk about this all the time, and I, I think that uh, Hagen and the kids were really, really always fascinated when they saw Obama on television. And I think this is also, we've seen the difference even in the way they study and, and the things they do, because they talk about him all the time. So I, I thought that um, maybe I owed them this, this uh, moment. This is just uh, some of the people who are on Parliament Hill, brave the weather, brave the warnings that they'll never get a chance. Uh, Helicopters and security and the various different vehicles that are all part of the uh, entourage. Here it comes, swinging around now from behind the east block, coming up onto the main area, right in front of the center block. You hear the crowd. They'll drive past the Senate entrance, and then straight up, and there he is. Mr. President. President and the Prime Minister.
Olympics. Tunda area. The president now getting a chance to meet different leaders of both the Senate and the House of Commons, speakers, the Senate. What did you see? I we didn't really see anything, but even though we were there, <laughs> the crowd was a bit big, wasn't yeah. it? So, do, but do, tell me about what it was like, even to be here, even if you didn't get a chance to see him. Really exciting. Is it? Why did you want to come to see Barack Obama? Um, because he's really inspiring. What does he inspire you to do? Mm, work harder. In school? Yeah. Like, I, oh, everywhere. I bet Dad likes to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> work harder in school. Thank you. How how was it for you? Oh, it's so great. I'm actually from East Africa, and his father is from East Africa. Um, uh, my name is Mohammed Ismail. Look at this. Yeah, this is only a fraction of them. Well, I see a couple of Americans sprinkled in there. <laughs> so, let me give you that picture from here. All right. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's a great honor. Thank you. It's a great honor to have you here. Thank you. Great. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Got to go. Sorry. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. End of the first meeting between these two men and his ambassador. Uh, it didn't look stiff up there. They uh, seemed to have some kind of any back and forth between each. Well, there they are with the wave to the crowd. Especially when he got out of the car. But even just getting a glimpse of him in the motorcade, people said, I saw him. I saw him. And then for him to get out of the car and the crowd, he's a rock star. I'm excited because I read about in National Geographic about the beast and there were two of them and there were two of them. And, but when he got out and waved up there, oh my gosh, that was very See and be caught up in a historical moment is a great thing. And I'd love to be able to down the road tell my kids that, you know, well, I was here when Obama... It was an Obama exciting was moment for me. I got his wave. I believe he saw my pink scarf and I was waving and I saw his wave and it's... Um, a wave of history, a mark in history, and um, he's every mother's son. So I'm here really representing mothers of all me up and held me high so I could see him, and he waved at me, and I waved back, and I was really happy. I'm so. here again on Parliament Hill just to support him, to show that Canada loves right Obama. Right on time, the 2.45 Eastern mark, and let's listen in. Welcome President Hello, Obama to Canada. We are deeply honored that he has chosen Canada for his first foreign visit and build on the long and deep friendship between our two countries and our two peoples. Thank you. It is a great pleasure to be here in the United uh, States uh, and Canada. Uh, I came to Canada on my first trip as president to underscore the closeness and importance of the relationship between our two nations. Our Barack Obama. Shake at the uh, podium. <laughs> the uh, well, saying. Rosemary Barton, uh, there is. And uh, can you see him from where you are? I can indeed. Look, I can even wave at him. He's uh, a couple of breeze. He shook hands with him. He is the charge d'affaires, the top ranking diplomat at uh, the U.S. Embassy here in Ottawa. And there goes a very nimble president up the steps into Air Force One. He'll turn and wave. Airborne, it wheels up at uh, the Ottawa International Airport. And there, heading south. See, there it is, wheels up. The wheels are actually up now. And uh, 27 minutes after 5 o'clock Eastern Time. And uh, off they go. That's a good thing about that. So that means uh, seven hours and one minute for the president in Canada, his first uh, foreign trip. And uh, he is off back home to Washington, D.C. in Andrews Air Force.